Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So before we start with today's uh, content, a little reminder, we have still this special promotion going on here on a Bybit. If you put a deposit of at least 0.1 Bitcoin, you can get up to $60 bonus. And if you put a deposit up to 0.3 Bitcoin during the month of October, you can get up to $180 completely for free here. You just have to go to the Bybit Rewards Hub and put in here the Alessandro the Crypto Voucher code and you can get all these bonuses here so now let's start here in the one hour time frame because what we are seeing right now could be the beginning here of a correction towards ten thousand eight hundred dollar this is our previous resistance which now could be turning into new support if we see here continuation to the downside so we're going to start here in the one hour because if we compare it to the dxy you can see that the dxy had here a nice run up and currently we could have here another potential correction to the downside towards the support because here in the one hour it looks like that we're building up this channel here which could lead into a breakout here to the upside from this main resistance that we have and that is of course very bearish for the bitcoin price if the dxy is going to break out here to the upside but if here we are getting rejected again and the dxy is losing the support trend line then we're gonna see a nice big pump in the bitcoin price again and this is what we have to wait here in the next couple of hours i think most likely today we're gonna see here some big moves probably more to the downside since also the stock market at least the futures right now like here the nasdaq or the s p 500 is plunging and that's why i think also in the bitcoin price we most likely gonna see here this $11,100 retest also to fill the CME gap that we still have down at these levels and potentially even go lower towards $10,800 because that in theory right now is our support area of this nice trend line that we are having right now here. So in the one hour time frame, currently we are trading between the 20 moving average and the 200 down here at 11,190. I'm expecting here continuation to the downside as soon as we're going to have a one hour close below $11,200. But if we are able to bounce from the $200 and also take out this resistance here at 11,500, then most likely we're going to see continuation up towards 12K and higher. And of course now also here the Bollinger Band now is bearish. We're trading here right at the bottom after overshooting into the downside and a little retracement back up here towards 11,370 is a very likely to come here. We have now all the indicators like the stochastic KSM MACD shifted to the downside. So definitely bearish here for the next couple of hours, even though we're gonna see a possible pullback to the upside since the DXY is looking like we're gonna have a retracement here because here we are in this uh, channel and we are waiting here to reach the main resistance right here at 94 dollars and now let's go over to the four hour time frame in the bitcoin price because currently we are still closing four hour candles above the 20 moving average but if this candle is going to close below 11,370 and also confirm it so if we're going to have a close below and then a possible retest of this moving average this will lead into a confirmation that currently we are trading here to the downside and potentially we're going to test here this 11,200 to 11,100 dollar and potentially even down here the 200 moving average right at our bearish target of 10,800 dollar before maybe we're going to see a big bounce to the upside because if we zoom out here you can see that bitcoin is clearly still in this upwards moving channel and we are right at the support here so if you're looking for a good long opportunity then wait maybe for the price to retrace back down here towards ten thousand eight hundred dollar maybe bounce from the 200 moving average and then have here a nice ride up towards maybe even thirteen thousand eight hundred which is our bullish target here in case of a push to the upside and of course we also have to take out this eleven thousand seven hundred dollar here before we can confirm that we will head towards thirteen thousand eight hundred dollars this is here the top of our channel so i think before we're gonna reach maybe this 14k area we're gonna see another little pullback here towards ten thousand eight hundred dollars and this is where i'm most likely gonna enter in a little long position for now i know we still have this future gap even down to nine thousand six hundred dollar but as long as bitcoin is remaining in this channel here i don't think that we will gonna 
go down here to close that gap very soon so we need also to lose here the main support of this big channel that we are in here and i think this could take even weeks or months before maybe we're coming down to these levels towards 9k and even if you open up a long position at ten thousand eight hundred dollar with low leverage you can easy handle to keep your trade alive even down towards nine thousand dollars so you can also dca down to 9k if you want to already starting to long right now and you don't want to wait for this gap to maybe get filled and in the four hour currently we are right at the 50 level in the rsi so we should expect a possible bounce from it but if here we're gonna have a four hour close below this 11,370, i think most likely we will go at least towards 11,100 and maybe even 10,800. this is my price range for a possible long position and also if we have a look into the bollinger band you can see that currently we're trading on the bearish side so we are trading here between 11,400 and 11,260 and i think it's just a matter of time probably till the u.s markets are gonna open in a couple of hours till we're gonna see here a big move potentially to the downside because also here we have all the indicators shifted to the downside so they are still bearish and if we compare it to the dxy in the four hour you can see that here we still have some room left to the upside right now we are trading above all the moving averages here and they are right down here at 9340 so even if we come down here to retest this area we will have a very strong support here at 9340 and that's why i think we will most likely see continuation to the upside here to potentially retest this huge resistance here which is holding the dxy down so we are still in the bear market in the dxy but if here we're gonna have a breakout to the upside from this falling wedge which is in theory a bullish pattern we're gonna see a big crash in the stock market and also in the bitcoin price at least for the short term because the dxy is still in a bear market even though it can break out to the upside and that of course could lead into a big crash and now let's go back to the bitcoin chart and open up the daily time frame because currently here i'm getting a sell signal it's not yet confirmed it's depending where we're gonna close this daily candle so i think by tomorrow we're gonna know if we're gonna have this sell signal confirmed or not and this doesn't mean that we have to go straight down maybe we're gonna see here continuation even towards 12k before this is gonna play out but here the daily time frame in my opinion is looking like that we're gonna have a possible correction at least towards ten thousand eight hundred dollar also to cool off a bit the rsi and also to play out this sell signal because if we go over into the dxy you can see that here we have exactly the opposite here we're getting a buy signal so i think if we're gonna have a breakout here to the upside from this falling wedge potentially to test here the 200 daily moving average at 97 dollar it will happen within the next couple of days because if this is a confirmed buy signal and the dxy is gonna break out here to the upside then this could lead into a potential crash in the stock market and also in the bitcoin price and that's why be prepared in case that we're gonna see such a breakout to buy as much bitcoin as possible because that could be really the last opportunity to buy so cheap bitcoin and altcoins and of course this doesn't mean that we're gonna just stay for a couple of minutes uh, down at lower levels in the bitcoin price most likely we're gonna then start to trade sideways consolidate a bit and then uh, gonna pump again in the bitcoin price and the same here in the dxy first consolidate or maybe getting rejected here at the 200 daily moving average before we're getting then another big leg down because the dxy is still in a bear market we are still trading here below all the moving averages especially below the 200 daily moving average only if we are able to close daily candles above the 200 daily moving average and also bring here the 20 and 50 daily moving average above the 200 this maybe could lead into a, a longer bear market in the bitcoin price and also in the stock market but since the moving averages are so far away i don't think that this will happen anytime soon and even here in the dxy if we zoom out here in the monthly you can see that since 1986 the dxy is just going down creating lower highs and lower lows so even if we would pump again towards 100 dollars here we will still remain in this bear market since the inception of the dxy and that's why even though we could see during the years pullbacks in the stock market and also in the bitcoin price for the long term you will be doing fine if you just buy and hold these 
assets, especially Bitcoin. And now let's go back to the Bitcoin chart and open up the Bollinger Band in the daily because currently we are still trending here in the upper area. So in theory, we should see a big bounce to the upside towards $11,600, the top of the Bollinger Band. But if here we're going to have a daily close below 11200 this will confirm us that the next step would be down here at around 11000 before maybe we're going to see also continuation down towards $10,300, which is also still possible to be reached we will not go straight down to those levels but step by step if the dxy is really starting to break out to the upside we have here in the daily still the KSD and MACD shifted to the upside on the stochastic is bearish so a correction down towards 11,000 potentially even lower is very very likely to come here pretty soon especially since we also got a sell signal in the daily but we can also stay in this area here maybe for the next couple of days before we're gonna see here the play out towards $11,000 also to close the CME gap at least the one at $11,100 and now let's have a look also into the weekly time frame in the Bitcoin price because currently we are still maintaining our support here of the 20 weekly moving average which right now is here $10,500 so the most important thing is still that we're going to close these weekly candles above these price levels and even if we're going to have maybe a week or a close below we shouldn't go lower than the 50 weekly moving average which is also perfectly lying up with our most bearish target here of 9k i don't think we will go lower but if so then watch out for the 200 weekly moving average at seven thousand dollar but i think if we're gonna reach here this 9k here we're gonna have a lot of buy pressure and potentially bring the price then way way higher than 11 and twelve thousand dollar again and this is also where i gonna start to buy in again everything i can into bitcoin and the lower we go the more i gonna buy and now let's also open up here the bollinger band in the weekly because here right now we are trending here in the upper area so the trading target would be in theory 11,000 to 12,400 dollar but it's really going to depend where we're going to close this weekly candle because if we're not able to close above 11k then this was a false breakout we came down and didn't confirm the new support and that's why then we're going to see potentially continuation at least towards the middle line here of 10,500 dollar and if this is getting lost then here the trading range would be between $10,400 and $8,500. So that's why I'm telling you, my friends, if you're starting to longing or buying at 10 k you can even DCA down to 9 k or 8 k you should be doing fine. The problem here in the weekly is only that really we have the KSD and MACD now shifted to the downside. So that's why I still remain a bit bearish if we cannot close this weekly candle above 11 k But this is what we're going to have to see then on Sunday. And with that said, guys, I'm going to wrap it up for now. So as you can see, for the short to midterm, we're most likely going to see here some more pullbacks and some nice buy opportunities. So don't start to panic sell in the opposite start to buy and accumulate as much cryptos as you can before we're really starting to head higher here and like this also you don't have to fomo in later once bitcoin is breaking new all-time highs so once again my friends thank you very much for your support make sure to subscribe here to the channel moon up the likes and also make sure to join my other channels on twitch or discord for example you're very welcome and if you need to buy bitcoin or other cryptos you can use swissborg or coinbase for example these are the recommended exchanges that i'm also using you find all the sign up links down below here in the video description with my links you support the channel and also you will get some rewards so thank you very much, my friends, for watching and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye.